So welcome back, we're gonna talk quickly now about lines and circles, all right? So when we have a given circle and a given line, there are three different cases that can happen. So whether the line is gonna hit the circle twice, like shown here in the two red dots, or the line is gonna hit the circle once, in other words, the line is gonna be a tangent to the circle, so if it hits it once, then it has to be a tangent, or else the line is gonna miss the circle and it's gonna hit it zero times, all right? So to try and find out which one that is, generally they're gonna give you a line and a circle and they're gonna ask you, does it hit it once, twice, or zero times? You're gonna to have to do simultaneous equations, all right? So write that down, simultaneous. I'm not gonna finish it by saying equations. So these are exactly like our videos uh, in Algebra 20 and 21. So I'm gonna only give one video on this because we've kind of went through it before here. So they are simultaneous equations where we have one linear equation. So that's gonna be the equation of the line. Yeah, so if it's gonna be linear, there's gonna be no powers on X and Y. And then there's gonna be one quadratic equation. That was in the videos we did in Algebra 20 and 21. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be a circle. It's not even gonna be the, uh, quadratic. There still is gonna be a higher power, so it's the same method. So you have to be able to do these simultaneous equations and tell if it hits twice, once, or zero times. So I'm gonna give one example in this video, um, just so I can show you guys. So here we have our uh, question here. It's asking us to find where the line x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0, and then the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 8y minus 8 is equal to 0 meet. Right, so we're going to have a circle and a line to find where they meet. So you can draw a sketch if you want, and um, there's no need really because we don't know as well if it hits it twice, once, or zero times. So what we're going to do is, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this here. So I'm going to write x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. I'm going to rewrite that. So it's going to be x is equal to 1 minus 2y. All right. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to sub this x is equal to 1 minus 2y into anywhere we have x in this one here. So we're going to write x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 8y minus 8 is equal to 0. And then anywhere we have x, we're going to put 1 minus 2y. So we're going to have 1 minus 2y squared plus y squared plus 2 by 1 minus 2y plus 8y minus 8 is equal to 0. All right? So we're going to uh, multiply all this out and simplify it. It's going to be 1 minus 4y plus 4y squared plus y squared. It's going to be plus 2 minus 4y plus 8y minus 8 is equal to 0. Put all the y squareds together, we're going to get 5y squared. It's going to be minus 4y minus 4y and plus 8y. They're all going to cancel, so there's going to be no y's. So I'll just put a line through those. And then we're going to have 1 plus 2 minus 8, which will give us minus 5 altogether because 1 plus 2 is going to be 3, so plus 3 minus 8 is going to be minus 5, equal to 0. So now we have 5y squared is equal to 5. Keep going. That means y squared is equal to 1, and that means that y is going to be equal to plus or minus 1. All right? So those are our two answers. So now we need to find two answers for x, okay? So I will go and I continue here in white. So I'll put that into here. So we have x is equal to 1 minus 2y. So if we put our two answers for y in, we're going to find our two answers for x. So for one of these questions, there are always going to be two answers for x and y. So that means we're going to have that x is either going to be equal to 1 minus 2 by plus 1, or x is equal to 1 minus 2 by minus 1. So that means x is going to be equal to 1 minus 2, x is equal to, ooh, no, x is equal to minus 1 be one of our answers or else we're going to have x is equal to 1 and that's going to be plus 2 because minus minus and that means that x is going to be equal to 3. So our two answers are either x is equal to minus 1 so I'll write it here right x is equal to minus 1 and that means that y is equal to use plus 1 here y is equal to 1 or x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus one. So what these are, they're not just answers for x and y, these are coordinate points, okay? So that means we have minus one and one, and we have three and minus one. So what these are, they're the two points where our circle, sorry, I'll draw a better circle, slightly better. 
a circle and our line meet. Okay, so if you want to draw that out, there are going to be two coordinate points where the circle and the line meet. Yeah, so that's how to do questions with lines and circles. We want to find out if they hit twice, hit once, or hit zero times. So through simultaneous equations, one linear and one quadratic, and they're really similar to the videos we did, the questions we did in Algebra 20 and 21. Um, so you let x be equal to 1 minus 2y, or you let x on its own, and then you're going to sub that x into your circle formula here. Solve it for y, and then sub it back in and solve it for x. So hopefully that all made sense, and hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at common chords and common tangents to circles. So we'll see you then.